So I'm very interested in these sort of boundary conditions because they are the moments in, in the visual praxis mm. that we become aware. I work in different media such as video, drawing, painting, sculpture, but I actually don't feel at all compelled to define myself as an artist that works in different media. Even though they're like discrete, as media and as objects, they are part of a, of a larger whole that is dialogical. So that I try to bring in, into my work, even as a painter. And there is a kind of a moment of uh, almost an acrobatic excitement about doing painting precisely because I'm not in complete control. The idea of consensual came as, as an invitation, but also as a, as a suggestion that the type of invitation, like when you work on a show and, and create a show, relies on a complicity with the viewer in relation to the work, mm -hmm. but also in relation to art and science. They uh, concur on two levels and unfold on two levels or, or more, on multiple levels. For me, the notion of ent entropic is, is really about the inability to find a one-to-one -one correspondence between what we see as language and what we see as objects or image, and the way that language itself takes a life of its own within the painting, but it's still a painted form. artist has to embrace the comic because and it, it is going and back and forth between the worlds. Mm -hmm. So the painting itself is, is irreverent to any tradition of painting. I mean, there is a sense of ugliness, awkward, mutant, inorganic. For the most part, the comic withholds more wisdom and truth than the tragic. Formed with, with or without, without consensual, consensual intervention. intervention rather than be informed. The instant that is both formed and forms your being here, or here, for all nucleons, or instant. I think especially with video, and video works for me, the notion of the comic is very, is very evident. It has a veracity to it that overrides the fallacy of the performance. And that's the boundary line that, that I think is almost unique to uh, plastic visual art. The manifolds, what I call the manifolds, what is interesting about them as objects is that they no longer, even though they're three-dimensional as sculptures, because of their mirrorized uh, surface, they actually cancel out boundaries for us and reflect the surrounding. So even though they're very sharp and linear, they create a, almost a rotunda-like movement around them. And, uh, and they have to be experienced. Again, it's very hard to look at, a, at an image and understand what it is. Reality itself is tested. It's not so much about the artwork per se. It's about what the artwork allows us as, as an apparatus to tease and test the boundaries of the real.